Okay, now what if, let's go back up on the board, what if you were asked to find an exact value for this thing, like the log base 3 of 10? So let's say that's our question. Find the exact value of log base 3 of 10. It could be any question like that. It could be any of these, pro any of these issues up here, any of these. We were looking for an exact value. Well, we don't know what this is, do we? So why don't we call it, and, and on the graph you just saw, these are y values, aren't they? Aren't these the heights? The height that showed up on those graphs, on the graph? Right? It's a y value. So let's call it y equals log base 3 of 10. And we're looking for the exact value. So. Let's go back to what a logarithm is. This log here is an exponent. That means my exponent is y. So 3 to the y power equals the 10. Okay. Now, when I said exact value in the original question here, this is the exact value. <laughs> The question is, how can we sort of, how can we uh, actually check and sort of pin it down then using our calculator? And, and our calculator only has two logarithms built into it. Base what and what? Two bases. Base 10, common logs, and base E, natural logs, LN. And you have buttons on your calculator for both of those. Okay. So what I want to do is be able to get it into one of those bases. Tell me which one you want. 10. Base 10? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I now have, what kind of an equation is this one? Exponential. This is an exponential because the unknown is in the exponent. Very good. This one right here is a logarithm. So when you see a logarithmic equation, Keep in mind, we're going to be solving log equations and exponential equations in a moment, and actually we're going to do it right now. To solve a log equation, you put it in exponent form. So here it is in exponent form. Now, to solve an exponential equation, you use logarithms. And you just told me you wanted to use common logs. So what you do, just like solving a radical equation, what do you do with a radical equation? You square root, or you square, you square both sides, don't you? So with an exponential equation, you take logarithms of both sides. And you told me you wanted to do common logs. So we take the log of both sides, log of 3 to the y equals the log of 10. What's the log of 10? One. Everybody agree with Melissa? 1, right? What's the exponent of the base 10 that gives you 10? That's a 1. OK. Now, what about this left side? What can we do over here? Somebody else help out. Something from a previous session. We talked about properties of logarithms in the last session. A very important property, Taylor. Right. We pop the exponent out in front. That's called the power rule. Okay? Power rule. So the exponent pops out in front. So this thing becomes y equals y, I'm sorry, y times the log of 3 equals, I'm going to go ahead and leave it, it's equal to 1, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it as log of 10. And now we divide, log of 3 is just a number, isn't it? Isn't that just a number, folks? It's a single number? It's the exponent of 10 that gives you 3. Okay, so that's just a number. So what I'm going to do, I need to solve this for y. Because look at that, that's what we're looking for here, y equals, right? So I divide both sides by log of 3, and so what I get is y equals log of 10 divided by the log of 3, which is 
1 over log of 3. We could reduce it to that as well. So there's a ex simplified exact answer. <coughs> simplified exact answer. This is how you can now use your calculator to calculate values of logarithms where the base is not 10 or E. If the base is not 10 or E, like in this case, you can notice what the rule is. They call this the change of base rule in textbooks, the change of base rule. But there's no, no need for a rule. All you have to do is follow this process. Write the, ex write the log equation in exponent form, uh, take logarithms of both sides, and pop the exponent out in front, solve for the exponent, and notice what the rule is. Look at the rule. Going for directly from this thing that we're looking for here to get to that result. It's the log of this value divided by the log of that value. Yes? Always. Always. Do you see the pattern? Couldn't, you, couldn't we use any base here? Couldn't we use ln here as well? We could have taken natural log here of both sides, couldn't we? ln here, ln there. And an equivalent result over there would be then the natural log. Another way of writing it could be the natural log of 10 over the natural log of 3. And what I want to show you with a calculator is that those values are going to be the same, and the final result is going to be a number a touch bigger than 2. So now, take your calculator and go ahead and punch log of 10 divided by log of 3 and get your answer. It should be a number a touch bigger than 2, very close to 2. And I'm going to throw that up here on the, on the screen. Okay, so what we're doing is I'm going to take the log of 10 and divide that. Notice I close the parentheses there divided by the log of 3, and I'm hoping for a number a touch bigger than 2. Normally, you want to write down your answers with logarithms to about four decimal place accuracy. So 2.0959, four decimal place accuracy. That's your approximate answer. And here's your exact answer. Exact and approximate. And then let's check it. Let's try it with a different base. Understanding the process, let's take the natural log of 10 and divide that by the natural log of 3. exactly the same value as expected. Yes? Kind of off topic, but why is it L in for natural log? L for logarithm, N for natural. It's just an abbreviation. I didn't invent that. English has switched the order of the words and stuff a Yeah, um, and I'm not sure if it actually went back to Latin or Greek derivatives or not. <laughs> But the origins of that word logarithm, as I mentioned before, come from Latin Greek derivatives. Okay. And let's do those others while we're at it. Log base 2 of 9. Log base 2 of 9. Once you get quick at this, you can just go log of 9 divided by log of 2. And then the third problem was the, the common log of 8. And the last one was the natural log of 3. And you'll see those values sprinkled up on the board. The first one we already did, a touch bigger than 2. We 
the we don't need to do the transformation with log A. No, or, no, or notice. Notice we had the log base 10 button, so I just used it. And then same thing with the natural log. And so these fit those estimates we made, those predictions we made earlier. Okay? So that should tie together for you nicely how to estimate a logarithm and then how to come up with a precise value with as much accuracy as you wish to have. All four of those numbers there. Questions? Any questions? Okay. Let's. <coughs> can I assume that you've got it? Okay, I see some heads going up and down, and I see some hands going like that. This stuff takes a while to sink in. Remember how hard it was for you to get the shifting and stretching and squeezing transformation stuff? Some of you are still struggling with that a little bit. But this stuff takes a while of practice. And so hopefully this kind of an example might really help you. Let's now go ahead and start solving some actual equations. And I've picked a couple of nice ones I thought here in the book that, that actually relate to something practical. So if I go to, yes, go ahead, Todd. Which one? Oh, this one right here? Oh, you just, it's just log 8. Yeah. Because it's already in a common log form. You just punch it. And you know your answer. But see, always think before you punch. You can quote me on that. Okay? Okay. <laughs> think. <laughs> Think before you punch, because everybody screws up punching that calculator. And it's really frustrating to you when you write something down, and it's even more frustrating to the instructor when you write something down that is totally bogus. Some piece of garbage. You know, like writing down log 8 is about 3.4 or something. That would be totally bogus, wouldn't it? Because we know the exponent of 10 that gives us 8 has to be a little less than 1, if you think your way through it. OK. So here's the kind of, any other questions before we move on? OK. Yes, me friend, me friend, them set me free again. Yes, me friend, me friend, me dip on the street again. Goodbye.